Whether you're snowed in or keeping shelter from the cold weather, John Terode is here now with a live comfort food cook-along using all the ingredients you'll find in your kitchen cupboards. And we've got to say uh, welcome to mum of two, Kat Beaumont, who is joining us today uh, with our cook-along with her daughter uh, in Kent. Her daughter is Lily. She's off school today because oh, of, uh, of Lily's the, gone of shy. The snow. Good morning Hi, to guys. you. <laughs> morning. Morning, morning. Morning. So you must be up to your eyebrows in it there. We are, yeah, it's been heavily snowing since uh, Monday night, so they've been off for two days now, school. And then we're looking at some pictures that you've, uh, you've taken of you. I've got a lovely garden. Um, it's, uh, Thank you. That's really is, that is deep, isn't it? So you're going to, you're staying in today, staying safe, and you're going to cook along with us? Yes, we are, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Lovely. Perfect. So you've already got your onions and garlic on, as you requested earlier. <laughs> yeah, because this is all about rice. The thing is that rice is a really good staple, but what it is, it's really bland. So the idea is to find a way of making it really well flavoured, mm -hmm. making it stretch out, and I think most people in their house will have, on a day like today, and I'm considering what's going to happen the next couple of days, to be able to keep people fed, they'll have a pot of rice, yeah. um, a couple of onions and some garlic, probably a tin of tomatoes, mm -hmm. and they might have something like chicken or sausage or bacon or something like that in the fridge. Yeah. So the idea, the starting place, is to start with a base flavour. The base flavour is the thing that will make the dish really well. So at the moment, Kat, you've got your onion and your garlic on, haven't you, Kat? Yeah, yeah and, great. and my bacon. OK, bring it and some bacon. I've got in here, I've got some onion, some garlic and some chorizo. So you can use either chorizo or bacon, depending on what you've got. Whatever you like, really. absolutely, whatever you want. It's like smoky and strong. Yeah, but the, the idea is to flavour the rice, so the rice is the big thing. I'm going to add to it um, some chilli. Are you got any spices there at all, Kat? you got anything on your spice rack? What do you got? Uh, I've got cumin, coriander, chilli paprika. you got paprika? Yeah. Okay, put a bit of paprika, a good spoonful of paprika in as well. Nice. I like anything it. you like, you put anything you want in it. It's about the flavour that goes together. And we'll talk about the flavour. So, a big bit of uh, paprika and give it a good stir around. Oh, look, I love that Lily's helping. As well. Fabulous. No. And Very then, helpful. once you give that stirred around, then what have you got as far as meat? You got any chicken or anything there, Kat? Yeah, we've got some chicken, yeah. Okay, then chop, drop your, your, your chicken in with that. Give the, the paprika and onions and everything a stir. Okay. Okay, Put your and then now. yeah, and then drop your chicken in, because what happens here is we want a bit of flavour around the, the chicken itself as well. Mm -hmm. So the way to do that is to turn the heat up a bit, cat, and give it a bit of a welly, and and give the, the chicken a bit of colour, because without the colour on the chicken, you won't it won't taste the chicken. It'll taste like boiled and meat. And it doesn't matter whether you have chicken breast or is that, is that thigh meat you've got there. I've got some thigh meat. You can use chicken breast. You can use whatever you want. Whatever you've got. Yeah. Basically. And the, the whole idea now, let that sit for a little minute, Kate. Okay. Cat. Cat. <laughs> Cat, let that Cat, sit for a moment. Right, John. See that, that, George. And then <laughs> open up a tin of tomatoes. A nice There's tin of tomatoes. I'm going in now, yeah. I'm going to use a whole tin of tomatoes. And you're going to take about 400 grams of rice. Now, a jar that size, 400 grams is half the jar. Mm. OK. OK. Now, there is a formula here. And the formula is, for the amount of rice you use, you use one and a half times the amount of liquid. So 400 grams right. of rice is 600 mils of liquid. And it doesn't have to be a borio, is it that's the right word? Like the fancy, slancy... Be any rice, rice. you long. It's, yeah, it, it'll just absorb the liquid. Stir your rice in with your chicken um, and then add your tomatoes. Yeah? Rice going in now. Yeah, yeah. get your rice in, that's fine. So rice and tomatoes go in about the same time. Stir it all together. And what you've got now is a sort of a mixture which needs liquid so that the rice takes up that liquid. Yeah, and can fluff okay? up a bit. And if, yes, that's right. So now to that... Have you got it all stirred together? Yeah. Fab. See, it's pretty easy. I mean, it's not... That is pretty easy. It's sort of a one-pot wonder, this, isn't it? I, look, I, 